Hello, today I want to show you how to install all your games in one VHDX file. The VHDX file is a virtual disk that can hold up to 64 terabytes of data. For now we create the VHDX file in disk C because we have not yet purchased the disks we will use later. We decide on the file path, the size which will be dynamic, and the file type, in this case, VHDX. VHDX Now we go to initialize the disk, format the volume as GPT, create the volume and assign the letter D. Now we see our D disk of the size of 1 terabytes, even though it is on a physical disk of only 240 gigabytes. Now let's go install Steam and games on the virtual disk labeled D. Now let's go install Steam and games on the virtual disk labeled D. Now let's go and install League of Legends on the virtual disk marked with the letter D. Now let's go and install League of Legends on the virtual disk marked with the letter D.
Now let's go and install Epic Games Launcher on the virtual disk marked with the letter D. After restarting the computer we need to remember to mount the VHDX file by clicking the mouse over it. Now let's install the Steam games, such as Counter-Strike, in the disk labeled D. Now let's install more Steam games, such as Players Unknown Battlegrounds, in the disc labeled D. Now let's install more games, such as Fortnite, in the disk mark D. We have installed a lot of games and the space on our 240GB physical disk is about to run out, instead we still have plenty of space in our virtual VHDX disk. So we need to physically mount a new hard disk or as in our case two hard disks in RAID 0. We have installed a lot of games and the space on our 240GB physical disk is about to run out, instead we still have plenty of space in our virtual VHDX disk. So we need to physically mount a new hard disk or as in our case two hard disks in RAID 0. After physically mounting two 500GB hard drives in the computer we go to configure them in RAID 0 for excellent read and write performance. 
also being disks that we will dedicate only to games we do not care about data redundancy. We are going to assign the volume a letter rather than D since D is the volume we use to install the games and which we will mount virtually later. Now we can move our VHDX file inside our RAID 0 volume. As we can see the copy is very fast because we are copying one very large file that contains all our game libraries. As you can see, we have freed up space in the C hard disk, and now we can mount the VHDX virtual disk located on volume H. Inside we will find exactly all our game libraries and software installations. <laughs> 